Hey everybody, welcome back to Writer Groupie. This is the site where we do all kinds of writing stuff. We do tarot for writers, we do scribbler box unboxings, we do vlogs about routines, we do things about writer stress, and everything in between A to Z. So I'm really excited for you to be here if you're new. Why don't you hit that subscribe button so that you can be a part of this zany family on YouTube. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll get notification every time I upload a video, which is just about once a week. Got my coffee, we got my tarot cards, ready to go. Right back on Writer Groupie. Before we get started, may I mention that I have a new book coming out? This one is on pre-order at Amazon. It'll be released on October the 15th, just in time for your holiday reading pleasure. I sure hope you'll make plans to get it. Now let's get into this video. Well, okay, you guys, just so you know, I did get a brand new deck. I got the Rider Waite deck. I'm really excited about that. I got it as a gift for my anniversary from my little hubby. See, this is the Rider Waite deck. A lot of people say that this is the uh, the primo, the uh, original, the best, the new, the improved. I just like it because I like how the symbolism and everything is really obvious to read. So how about we do a little tarot read this morning? How about we see what's going on in the writing world? So how about a reading for goal, motivation, and conflict? Uh, a lot of people use that as their guide to get a book written. Uh, you can use it for short stories and you can use it, even use it for articles sometimes. So go motivation and conflict, you guys. That's what we're talking about today. Hopefully if the cards cooperate. If they don't cooperate, we'll be talking about whatever the cards say we should be talking about. Okay, so here we go with our first card and it's the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. And as you can see with the Ace of Wands, there's things blooming. There's a hand coming out of the ether. The universe is handing us a fabulous new something. Something new is afoot. So if this was a goal card for something to do with the character's goal, perhaps they have some new ideas of what they'd like to do with their life or their business or their relationship, depending upon what you're writing. Let's just presume today that you're writing a fantasy and this is the main character's goal and their goal is to maybe find a new thing. Maybe there's a missing item in the world, in the realm, and they have to find it. Here it is. Their goal is to find this new blooming, looming, whatever it is being give, given to the realm through the universe. Okay, next card. Next card is, ooh, the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. This is a card of lack. This is a card where you see the people are like wandering the streets in their beggarly robes. There's stained glass window in the church they're passing by. Doesn't look like anybody's offering them any help. So the motivation for this character is gonna be getting help, perhaps from a higher source. Maybe they're looking for the grand wizard on our fantasy journey. The grand wizard has all the answers or maybe the grand wizard has all the tools necessary for them to get this item, this one thing that's gonna save the realm. So they're looking and they're kind of poorly. They're either in ill health or they're not, they don't have a lot of money. They don't have anywhere to sleep. They're looking for somebody to be a good mentor and to help them out. This is their motivation. So next would be our conflict card. And that's gonna be the Four of Cups, the Four of Cups. And here we see the universe has given them something again. They've already been given three cups. They've been given three choices to get this one item that's gonna save the realm. And they've not done anything with those three cups. So now the universe is handing them this fourth and final cup. And this is the conflict. As you can see, his arms are crossed. This young fellow or young maiden, uh, whoever is your character, 
is kind of putting their ears back, as my mama used to say. They don't want to take this. They are conflicted. They do not want this journey. They do not want to be the one that has to go out into the cold and starve and be beggarly while they're seeking this one item of hope. So this is the conflict card. Now, perchance you're not writing a fantasy. Perchance you're writing a romance. You know I like romance, right? So anyway, this would be, the goal of the story would be to be fruitful and multiply. This would be to find a love that's going to fulfill the character's um, journey, as it were. They want something new and fresh and long-lasting. And then the motivation would be that maybe this person needs love in their life because they've never had it before. Maybe they've led a life of lonely, you know, out in the cold desperation, and a new love would make everything ever so much better. And then the conflict would be maybe the choices they have to choose from. Maybe there was three women that this young man could have chosen, but they were not right. Kind of like the three little bears just didn't fit. And here comes this fourth one, and he's looking at it a little skeptical, but you know what? If you've got the right amount of conflict, you can make this work. Well, that's it for me today, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, this tarot reading for writers. And I hope you'll come back and visit Writer Groupie again next time. Until then, y'all be good. <laughs>